what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? Steve Sorry, a.k.a. Harvey, is attempting to distance himself from Donald Trump after his ratings took a hit due to the fallout of the meeting he took with Donald Trump back in January. Oh, Stevie Boy relaunched his daytime show when his previous program was set to be canceled because he refused to sign his contract because he wasn't getting a raise and couldn't move his show to Los Angeles. As a result, his agency decided to launch a new show, simply titled Steve. The retooled show premiered on September 5th after a few months of preparation, and both ratings and reviews for the program, let's just say, have been less than stellar. Now old Stevie Boy is turning on his own pal in a desperate attempt to save his own skin, stating on a recent episode of his show, Meeting Donald Trump was the worst mistake I ever made. No, Stevie. Being arrogant and forgetting where you came from was the worst mistake you ever made. See, when you started getting that money, it started going to your head. The more money you got, the bigger your head got, Mr. Potato Head. You got besides yourself. You lost your sense of reality. You forgot who made you. You ever remember that old saying, same thing, make you laugh and make you cry? Remember how you just discounted the black community? Man, I got the whites now. I don't need the blacks. I can say what I want to say. I can shit on them. They ain't going to do nothing about it. What they going to do? And you know how forgiving black folks are, you know, we... Pretty desperate for any type of signs of success. So, you know, we'll take anything. We'll take anybody, even if they disrespect us. Even if they don't care about us, we got to care about them just because they're black. Well, Stevie, for the most part, it hadn't worked out for you this time. I'm sure there's some hanger-ons out there who you could do anything to them. You could slap their mama in the face with a car jack. They'll still forgive you because that's how they're built. But the rest of us have moved on. In fact, I have moved on a couple of decades ago. I knew what you were about a long time ago. But some people are just catching up and it's not their fault. Many people just try to see the good in people before they see the bad in them. I peeped you out a long time ago. So your arrogance finally caught up with you. And the only reason why you're talking about Donald Trump, what meeting with Donald Trump is the worst mistake you ever made is because your ratings are dropping. If your ratings were strong, you would justify that meeting. You think you were right. You think it was a good move because you wouldn't have been affected by it. So that's the way it is. Man, hey, man, suck it up, buttercup. It is what it is. You know, you come across as a person who really cares about what black people think of you, yet you are quick to pull a step and fetch it. I mean, at any moment you could pull one, at any moment. At any moment you could say something distasteful, something disrespectful that offends the black community and you will not apologize Boy, how quick are you to apologize to any other ethnicity, any other group? Boy, you fast. That boy quick on his feet. That boy real swift to apologize. That boy know his beans from his cornbread. That old country boy know his beans from his cornbread. However, he forgot where he came from. Steve, all I can tell you, man, is Go out there, man, and find yourself a backbone. I know you got a lot of money. You can't buy a backbone in the store, though. You're going to have to go underground to get it. You're going to have to get on a donor's list or something. 
So carve out some time, man, for you to lay up in a hospital, man. And I'm sure you got enough money to keep you comfortable. And company. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah. Florida, Texas. Yeah.